uh, to be honest, John, I'd love to just dive right in. Um, you know, part of the process, you know, even with what we do with Training Ground and e any man in his 20s, um, you know, and you had even shared about it in your story about a, a young man engaging his father. Um, you know, any, any thoughts on advice or just wisdom of how does a young man understand and interpret his relationship with his father in that process? It's a big question. <clears throat> Um, it was in my 20s that I was finally able to look at my relationship with my dad um, with some distance mm -hmm. and some perspective, sure. right? And, and see, frankly, some of his failures, mm -hmm. but also see some of the good things, see right. where he was trying. But he, he, he kind of flew the thing into a wall. I mean, he really did, the alcohol and blew the family apart. And it was in my 20s that I actually learned to forgive my dad. Mm -hmm. Um, w which was a really amazing process, both for him and for me. Right. And it began with honesty, right. right? Like this is the decade of honesty. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to pretend about things anymore. And, right. and you can be honest about what was it like with your dad. Yeah. Did you get these things from him? My dad didn't teach me anything about money. Right. Nothing about women, except that he kept pornography in his workshop, right? He taught me nothing about career or passion, calling, and nothing about God. And, and like, I came in, I, I just felt like I was bankrupt. Yeah. You know, I'm the guy that's dealt, you know, the bad hand in life. And right. first there was a lot of anger about that sure. and, and resentment. And you know what? Um, I, I had to face that. I had to, I had to work through that. And that's all okay. Like, that's all okay to look at that relationship honestly. It's not about blaming. It's not about accusation. It's not about like betraying family or betraying dad. It's just saying, look, I, um, I'm kind of in the process now of becoming a man myself. Right. And, and I need to sort out what I got from my dad, right. what I didn't get from my dad, and frankly, how I feel about sure. all that. Sure. You know, and it's interesting. Um, I feel like we have one of two experiences with the guys in training ground. One is this, where it's very defined of what we didn't get from our dads and then there's the other side of the coin of thinking our dad is still a hero which he probably is right but we're not but we don't take an honest look at our story we don't want to see our dad as human some young men are just like oh, I don't want to think critically about my dad or throw my dad into the bus and I don't think it's about that I think it's taking an honest look at your own heart as a young man and being able to understand, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of taking inventory of mm -hmm. just figuring out what your journey's been like. Right. The father-son relationship is the deepest and most influential relationship in the universe because of the father right. and the son of God, right. right? Like that's literally the core of reality. Right. So your relationship with your dad has shaped you as a, as a young man in more ways than you know. And the sooner you can go ahead and look at some of that and, and be honest about what was good and what wasn't so good, mm -hmm. right? The better for everybody concerned, right? right? The better for the relationship, yeah. actually, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, part of becoming a young man is no longer being a boy, right? right? And just being, I mean, a boy looks at the world pretty naively, yep. right? And, and so to be honest, not cynical, not angry, not bitter, but just honest, about your relationship with your dad, super important.